In this video, we'll talk about extrude tool. Now, extrude is the mostly used tool in polygon modeling. To access the extrude tool, we will have to first make a selection of a face. I'll go ahead and right click on this object, go to face, and I'll click on this top face. We can access the extrude tool either by shift right clicking on the object, and there you have extrude face, or we can also go to modeling and choosing edit mesh extrude. If I click on it, now we get a new gizmo. Now this is unlike the move, rotate and scale tool. This gives you all the three tools together in a single tool. And this gizmo is called manipulator tool. So I can move the extruded object. I can rotate it by selecting from the outside, we get this three axis here. Or I can scale it by picking any one of these small boxes. I can scale it. So as you can see, from one face, I have created now four extra faces. Let me do the same extrude in the right side here. I'll select the face. This time I'll hold Shift key, right click, and choose extrude face and I'm gonna click and drag to pull it out and release if I select here I can also scale it now keep in mind whenever you're extruding it is important to bring that face out otherwise if you just create an extrude and release the mouse or click outside what will happen is there will be four hidden faces between these edges. This will give us problems later. So keep in mind, whenever you're creating an extrude, make sure that you pull that extruded face out. Let's go ahead and make some more extrudes. I'll select this, shift, right click, choose extrude face. I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, and I'm gonna do one more extrude, pull it up. Now this time I can also extrude from two sides, for example, I'll select this side and I'll hold shift key and select this side, shift right click and choose extrude face. Now you can see that we've extruded from two sides. I'm going to pull it up, now you will find a small issue. Now this can be fixed by either changing to our move tool, that means it will just move both these faces up or we can click on the small icon here. So that puts the gizmo in the center of both of them. So now I can pull both of them up. Great. Now I'm going to do one more extrude. Okay, great. I'm going to do another two extrudes here. One here and one here. Extrude face. Great. Now you will also notice that there are a lot of history information coming up. So every single extrude that you do will be saved in your inputs area as history information. Okay, so when we get a lot of history information, just better delete the history so that we can have a clean model. To delete the history, we can go to edit, delete by type, history. So this concludes the video of understanding the extrude tool.